The truth is that I probably will never know how to narrate these kind of places. Nevertheless, I return to assure temporalities of the domestic ruins that wrap themselves around one's body, and that's how you somehow figure out that you are indeed you, or rather that you come from this kind of you. The you that I'm writing about used to tear down every wall inside a home, and then you would build a new one just afterward that wouldn't last long before it too would face the repetition of the preservation of the interior destruction. You would undo, redo, repeat the house, the frame around this ritual still stands. So I suspect that you were rebuilding it with a form of care and sensitivity. Now the pines around are taller than the roof, the grass reaches my chest, and it's somehow all oh, so slow. You cannot see the speed the way that you would see the speed of a falling wall or the speed of a cup of water thrown on the air, turning to solid ice before hitting the ground that you were born upon. This is a domestic speed. The you that you are coming from, the embodied dissonance that sing the string of forgotten tongues, that string around every pile of discarded materials and the beginnings of the following constructions. It would be easy to go somewhere in between, a third place or something like that. This is somewhere else, and I remember the fires, and hear a sing too, in a language that I no longer remember, knowing that a forgetting cannot be the same, even though it forgets for the body of the you that you're coming from. That you, that the dressing is addressed as a country, and that you, as a contradiction of readable territory, the body as a failure of the borderline, this mouth has a citizenship of nowhere. And I'm always looking for someone who also dreams in words that they don't understand and talks about their dreams and languages of which the forgetting is speaking. The forgetting of language is a speaking practice even when the body speaks silence because the onset is nor emptiness, neither a form of replacement that comes with learning, speaking another tongue. It's rather a translation as a movement between what no longer can be said and the word that arrives with the impossibility that acts upon the remembered language. Because the language that the body remembers cannot be separated from the forgetting, the same way as the silences cannot be separated from the sound of the string of the song of the becoming of the shape of this body that once spoke. It's marching in another country. <laughs>